So when I graduated from college, I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with my life. Bullet missed my heart by less than an inch. I remember leaving my body and being asked a question that I think will stick with me forever. I was going through a bout of depression. Something was calling me to be an artist. You know, word got out that we were having a party. Turns out somebody was actually stealing out of our apartment. Doc confronted him. He pulls out a gun, pulls the trigger. I remember leaving my body and being behind everybody looking down at me. And I remember everybody's reactions. They're like, oh my God, we lost him. And it was such a peace. I was asked a question. And the question was, do you want to stay here? Or do you want to go back? I was determined to live my life on my terms after that. I was determined to execute every single idea that I've been sleeping on. All these different things that I felt like could change the world, could change my life, could change my family's life. Those are the things that mattered the most. I'm an artist, I'm a creative, and everything in between. The shooting threw me off strenuous activity for a while. But it wasn't until recently that I decided to run. I started listening to affirmations as I ran. Regimented words of positivity. Me kind of repeating it. I am great. I am powerful. I am love. You start to really believe it. And especially like if you're tired, right? But you're hearing, I am strong, I am powerful, I am strong, I am powerful. Your posture starts to change. Your demeanor starts to change. Your breathing starts to change. Where my thoughts are directed towards something positive. I carry that throughout the entire day. I carry that throughout the entire week. And those affirmations kind of help set the tone and set the trajectory upward for anything that I want to accomplish. I had that responsibility to get up and create and try to elevate somebody's mood because I want them to understand how important today is.